Shalom, shalom, my Halloween. Greetings, my YouTube Mishpa. What's up, what's up, my people? Welcome, friends, to the Bible and a Bicycle Burrito Run. My name is Will, and I'm an Aspire follower of Yeshua HaMashiach, that is, Jesus Christ. Well, the snow finally melted, but it's still really wet and cold out there. So you know what that's time for. I'm going to make us up some burritos, pack the bike panniers up with a bunch of dry socks. Go out there and visit those folks out here in our community. They're experiencing a little bit of poverty and homelessness on this cold, wet day. And I thought we'd do something a little different in this video, and that is, I'll show you how I make burritos for the Bible and a Bicycle Burrito Ride. So let's go scrub our phalanges down real good and make us some burritos. Welcome to the little kitchen. Let's get started. Well, to start with, you can't have burritos without beans. So let's grab this a big bunch of beans. My pantry's running a little low. I'm gonna have to go out and refurbish. Then you find you the biggest pot you got. Turn on your burner. Now, I like to rinse my beans first. I recommend you soak them down a little bit. Get all the floaties out of there. Dump your beans right in the water. Let's put the beans back, rotate them out. Now what's a burrito without some good spices? Let's see what we got up here in the spice cabinet. Well, yeah, we gotta have us some spice. Gotta put some chili powder up in there. You want your whole lot of that chili powder. Mm -hmm. Gotta give it some flavor. Nobody want no bland burrito. What else we got? A whole little garlic powder. That's always good. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle that right in there. Oh, we got to restock these spices. What else we got up here? Oh, we got a tad bit of that minced onion left. Yeah, might as well get rid of that. Throw it right on in there. There we go. There we go. Mmm, that's starting to smell right good. Bring that up to a good boil, just let that simmer up. Now once your beans get to this point here where they're getting softened down, nice and tender, and we gotta grab us up some rice thrown here. This here's just long grain, plain old white rice. So we're just gonna measure us out about a cup or so, pour it right down into them beans. Stir it all up and bring it back up to a boil. That rice is going to absorb the rest of that water on up. Then we'll get to rolling these here burritos. We can actually afford to put some nice beef, some meat in the burritos for this week's Bible on a Bicycle Burrito Ride. Thanks to the kindness and generosity of donations from folks like you all. It's what this channel is really about. It ain't about them views. It ain't about monetization. I mean, all that counts here on YouTube. But what really counts IRL for these folks out here? Get something warm in their bellies to eat and keeping their feet dry and warm. And on the advice of Yeshua HaMashiach, and with the help of the good Lord and you, we're gonna make sure that both those things happen today. Let's get to rolling, rolling, rolling. Big old scoop of beans and rice. Ground beef up on top there. Big old pinch of cheese. Gotta have cheese. Mm -hmm. And top it off with a splash of hot sauce. Make sure we get a big heaping help on each one. We ain't greedy here. We're out to feed folks, not tease folks. Just get into the groove. Roll, roll, roll. Well, 
once you get in the groove, it's kind of easy. Just get in that zone. Look at that, whole big bunch of burritos. Let's pack up the bike and pass these out while they're still warm. Well, better put some more aluminum foil on the list. Alrighty, right in time. Well, I figure while we're passing out them burritos, we gotta take some Bibles, of course. So we're gonna take a little selection Portability reasons. This little Gospels of John. Yeah, I got the bicycle on there. Jesus cooler in here. From the Pocket Testament. I utilize them a lot in my outreach. They're an awesome resource. It's their little camo Bible. It's a new international version. But I figured, hey, for those cats out there, in case somebody needs a Bible. And then, if you're an older cat like me, it's a large print. Matter of fact, this is featured, this used to be my uh, casual reading Bible. And it, it's featured in a video. We'll stick it up there somewhere. As well as video uh, on this resource. But anyway, so we'll throw some Bibles in the panniers along with the burritos. And we'll not only get some burritos out to these folks, but we'll deliver some good bread. Good bread. The kind of bread you can't bake. We'll get that out to those folks who are experiencing poverty and homelessness here in my local community. God bless. Praise the Lord. We got burritos. We got Bibles. And we got new, clean, dry socks. Safety first, let's protect our pant cuffs. Alrighty, it's time to saddle up and get on the road. Yo, anybody want some burritos? Moving on. Anybody if I want burritos? Yeah. Anybody if I want some burritos? Burritos! How's it going, brother? 
doing? I hear you. I'm in there. Try to stay warm. I hear you. It's warm when I left. How many people's up here? Uh, there's three. Three? Yeah. 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 But he gets a new little girl. He gets a new little girl. He keeps it by himself. If I need, need socks, no, I'm giving her socks. Dry socks. You know, I said, by noon, if I'm bringing socks, and then my mom, she's been around forever. You got that bag? Here you go. Stick these in there. I was just gonna keep it for her. Let her have one late. What's up with you, Dry? No, man, stressing. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, well, yeah, it's good to you out here. You, covers, you, got, the, you need covers, socks? Covers, socks, all good. Me and all Okay, I'll take it up there. Just, Our tent, right. motherfuckers don't know how to open the tent door up, right? so they rip it from where it starts uh -huh. all the way to the corner of it, dude. Now, uh, it's, 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 it's you ain't got no tarps at all? Huh? You ain't got no tarps at all? No, all of our shit. He doesn't know. Wet, I got, nasty I got there, tarps, bro. Bad. I got but, uh, I'll be out here next week, too. I usually get. But Hung up it, down there. It, everything inside of it will train the two things and everything's moving, bro. We'll have to get a whole new tent and everything. Yeah, man, this sucks. I hate it. What else can we do about it, though? Nothing, man. Nothing, man. Nothing. That's where you got to go. You say you need socks or no? Yeah. There, there's, no a, there's a whole box. I didn't know you were staying up here. You staying up here? Yeah, I'm staying. Over there? Over there, that. And once you go in, yeah. I'm down the first one on the on the right. I come through here usually on Sunday and holler out at too. some point in the day with burritos yeah. and yeah. Some whatever I got. This, this okay. here. Okay. Um, I have see about getting some blankets to holler out over there. Okay. See what I got. I, everything I got is like. Uh, what do you need? Sleeping bag. No, Van blankets. Because blankets? I was tarp, my tarp, it dragged down um, to the back of it. So when it rained okay. the last couple of days. I'll, I'll All see right, what I got. I'll see there. But what the problem is, uh. I just got water on the bottom of my, my uh, tent and it just like... I know, you know I always put uh, I always took a uh, nice couple old pouch and some cardboard yeah, lay down some, first I, and then throw your tent on it. Well, what I did is I got... Um, but if you got a leak, it don't matter. Uh, it's a bunch against it and you hit. It's ginormous. So what I do is I stretch, I'm going to stretch it out and I'm going to uh, bring it down and try to drag it down here as far Tarps as possible. Tarps are a life saver, man, because yeah. these tents don't really last that great. Well, man. what I'm thinking is... I just saw muddy all through there, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I'm just gonna drag it up through here so you get to the top of the hill and you kinda like, you know. It's gonna yeah, be muddy, yeah, it's gonna be yeah. muddy regardless. We top trains here all the time when we were kids. Oh, for real? Yeah, all this used to be yeah, before yeah. they made it into the park. I'm only 18 years old, so I just... Yeah, 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 you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even... I was 18 back then, so two lifetimes ago for you. How'd you get up out of here? Like, honestly, like, how did you... How Struggle. Did you I gave up trying so hard on my own. I, I gave Jesus and, and God a chance. Not not church and not people, but like the real deal. Just started communicating and being like, dude, I need some help because I can't do this. And to me, that was like the first whisperings of the Holy Spirit, you know, the, the Spirit uh, of God yeah, working I in me. My, my thing, I ended up here is because, I mean, I, got, I had an ex-fiance going two and a half years, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. he was running house to house to house, house I had jobs. And I know I can hold myself. I mean, I know I can do it, you know what I mean? Like, if mm -hmm. I get a job, I'll be set, you know, I'll just right. save my money. Yeah, yeah, bro. You have a day, brother. Hey, I'll see you next week. I'll see if, I'll see if, if I got blankets, I'll come by here later this evening. Didn't see our buddy this time. I brought him those earmuffs. Hope he's doing all right. All righty. I'd say that was a successful mission. As usual, when I come out here, we usually end up talking about a little bit of Jesus. Oh, look up here. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Oh, dear. Hey, Mama. Hey, guys. You ain't no Mama. You're babies. Where's your Mama? I don't know if you can see that or not. A couple of baby deer. Oh, the Lord is wonderful at that. I'll go back to the little studio. For it's nice and safe and warm. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. God is good. I hope that young man takes my advice. Because without Yeshua, you can do nothing. Alrighty then.
Well, praise the Lord. Thank God, but that was a good successful mission. Passed out a whole bunch of socks. Passed out all the burritos. I'm a little disappointed we didn't see the brother from the last video here this week. He admitted you something about he wanted some earmuffs and it just so happened I had some for him. And although I heard a lot of dogs up there at the camp, I waited around for quite a few minutes. I just didn't see nothing from him, so he might have been out gathering up some firewood or who knows what. I hope he's all right. And I also hope that young man decides to turn to the Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach. You might have heard me talking to a fellow named Dragon in that video. Uh, that's a whole story in itself. Maybe I'll tell you about it sometime. That'd be another story for another time. We've had a full day here at the little studio. I think it's about time we wrapped it up. Get a little burrito in my belly. As always, thank you for joining me here today. I really do appreciate it. I know your time is valuable and I appreciate you spending it here with me. If any of y'all out there would like to get involved with the little ministry I do here, there's a whole bunch of links down below where you can donate to PayPal. You, you can join the Kofi over there. Or you could do like many of my supporters do, and that's go straight to that Amazon link down there. That way you know that your money's going exactly where you want it to go. Speaking of which, thank you so much to all you folks out there who have been supporting the ministry and the channel. It's very, very much needed this time of year. There's a lot of folks out there, as you can see. They're on the down and outs. So while I'm out there ministering, I got to make sure that they got nice warm gloves and socks best of my ability as the Lord provides and thanks to your great generosity. Alrighty, I'm gonna wrap it up. Till next time, remember, Yeshua, Jesus loves you. So do I. Get off of here, go ride your bike, and read your Bible.